Hello everybody, uh, this is Dr. Kevin Novak again, and uh, this time I decided that since the tank is going on nine months old, and the discus that I have in the tank are going on two months old, that I would really show some test kits for you, like the Lamont. This is a picture I got off the internet of a sump. Now, could you imagine looking at this sump, and you've seen pictures of how my sump is. Could you imagine trying to clean that? Be unbelievable. Anyhow, this is a Lamont test kit. And if someone comes to your house, and mo this is a professional test kit, okay, they're extremely expensive. And this is when you're not playing games anymore with your aquarium. If you buy one of these test kits, they may cost 45 50 60 bucks a kit. Uh, I've had DVMs come to my house and literally pull out all the months. This is what a lab's going to use. This is what universities are going to use. This is what I use. A limonologist and ichthyologist is going to use Lamont. Um, your professors, you know, I've taught universities and stuff. Uh, this is what I use. Uh, we all use Lamonts. When someone pulls out a Lamont test kit, you better start sweating. Because if you're making a claim that you have zero ammonia or zero nitrates or zero fault. You better be pulling out a Lamont test kit, period. API test kit. How does that compare to a Lamont? A scale of 1 to 10. 10 would be a Lamont. 1 would be an API test kit. That's how bad test kits are compared to Lamont. Lamont is sold in all your professional equipment books. Um, all your supply houses that sell uh, to the limonologists, ichthyologists, professors, universities, Lamont. Nobody fools around with API. They don't fool around with Jungle. They don't fool around with Tetra. Lamont. This is a Lamont test kit. I'm testing my aquarium. As you can see, you can uh, You know, I apologize. My camera isn't that great. I'm trying to really get it for you. It takes 10 minutes for this to settle in. But as you can see, it, from what I can see, it's about 1.5 parts per million. And I'm trying to get the best photo for you. As you can see, it doesn't quite match with the 0.25 or 0.5. It mainly goes between 1 and 2. Now, this is nine month old using the anoxic filter. It's not quite a two, and it's not quite a one. I would say it's a 1.5 parts per million. There's the four. Look at the four. Uh, this is a bad, I, you know, I'm doing the best I can to try to get this to you people. But four, there's four parts per million. And you can see it's a lot darker than the one and two. Now, once you get it eight or even six, look at six, how dark it is. This, that means this aquarium is running at 1.5 parts per million of nitrates in nine months using biosinosis clarification baskets. Believe me, people, I've had people come into my pond. They bring all the months in because they're like DVMs. Look at how these are, how dark these are. And I really do apologize because the lighting, this is the best, you know, I can do. But you can just see by the one and two, and there's... There's the water. Now, of course, you're only going to be subject to the water that's coming out of your tap. And if your tap water w is between like two or less parts per million, you got good tap water, believe me. But look at this. This is nine month old water. I probably exchanged in nine months. Mm, I'm just going to guesstimate maybe 30 gallons in nine months. And you wonder why the discus are doing good. There's no nitrates. And the plants are living. And I'm not adding more nitrates. And I'm just trying to give you guys a better picture. Here's a, here's a little better picture. But this is off of a dark background. And it almost looks like those, that one and two parts per million. But the two parts is a little darker. But it, but it doesn't quite... The camera's not picking it up. The, actually, the, the darkness is not quite one, but it's not quite two. Two's a little darker. I mean, we're getting into gnat hairs here. We're starting to get into gnat hairs. Uh, when people get an API test kit 
and it gives you a guesstimate. That's all, that's all it's giving you. It's not giving you a true, accurate nitrate reading. It's giving you a good guesstimate, ballpark kind of figure kind of thing. And so don't be fooled when you use test kits like that because they're not going to be anywhere near the test kit of a Lamont. These test kits are extremely expensive. You can buy them. If you don't mind paying forty fifty sixty dollars for one test kit and the regents i think the refill the regents for this nitrate is like thirty five dollars so they are not for you know children this is this is not just an ordinary kind of test kit when someone brings these test kits out and they're going to start testing your water they mean business and you better start sweating bullets because if you claim that your water is doing something and they pull out lamont's Believe me, they're going to know if you're telling the truth. When someone says, oh, I got zero nitrates and I test it with my API, you know, to somebody like me, that don't mean nothing. You give me something that is used at universities or in labs. You give me a Lamont test kit. That's how you test your water. Now, everyone's seen me get the little dipsticks. Those are, those are, give me, those give you a ballpark figure. You know what I mean? Uh, they're good to get you some idea of what's going on. They're not going to be as accurate as a Lamont. This Lamont, as you see, there's the four parts per million. Look how dark it is. This it doesn't even come near four parts per million. This is nine months. Now, and this is using the biosinosis clarification. This is using an anoxic filter. So in other words, I'm reading about 1.5 because it's not quite as dark as a 2. You figure how low that nitrogen is. That's not even a four. Look at how dark the four is. Even if this tank was a six, you look at the six there at the end, how dark it is. It doesn't even come even close to that. So, you know, when I do these videos, I'm trying to show you the hobbyist, what a professional is going to look like, what a professional is going to use for equipment. He's not going to be using cheap garbage equipment. Now, I'm not insulting anybody. Don't take it that I don't want anyone writing me saying, well, API is a good... No. API is nice for hobbyists. You want to play with the big boys. You go out. You spend yourself $30, $40, $50, $60 on a test kit like this. And then you're going to be known exactly what your aquarium has in phosphates and nitrates. And this is what your aquarium has. This is against a dark background. As you see, even then, the two looks darker than my test vial that's in there. Looks a little bit, it's hard to tell. You know, the camera's there. I got it in the white. It's not quite as dark as two, but not quite as light as one. So I'd say it's a one and a, one and a half parts per million of nitrates. That is good. That is absolutely excellent. Anyhow, I just want to show you, I'm not lying about the system. I've had it tested from several professionals, and it always comes out ahead. So until next time, uh, this is Dr. Kevin Noack. Uh, happy ponding and happy aquariums, and I hope you enjoyed the video.